if you've been following along with our prayer challenge and you've been listening to us talk about prayer of salvation for family and friends and you're not sure what we mean by that don't go until you do Romans 3.23 says for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God and soon after that in Romans 6.23 We read, for the wages of sin is death, but there's good news. We find out in Romans 10, 13, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Now there is so much more to unpack, not in just these three verses, but in the entire Bible. The entire Bible is God's word and Christ's love story for us. Now I don't have a lot to offer you, but I've tried to put some resources on the site. Hopefully you will use them. You can call someone who will pray with you. You can leave comments and I will be praying for you. I know it may be just a general prayer right now, but there's a lot of power and that's what this whole site's about. The power of prayer. I may not know your name, but Jesus does and it's my testimony to you that he loves you he loved me and he saved me and I can't thank him enough if you have any doubt at all where you'll spend eternity don't wait any longer don't put it off call someone pray with someone as soon as possible And just know that you are loved. Jesus loves you. If by chance you feel ready and you want to pray right now, I would not leave you without praying with you. I know I'm very ineloquent and I'm stumbling here, but I wouldn't be able to sleep without knowing I prayed with you. So here we go. Dear Heavenly Father, I know the list of things I think, say, and do that are wrong is a long list. I struggle with what is right versus what is wrong. I know that the Bible, your word, says that the penalty for those wrongs is death. But you made a way that I could be forgiven and born again to a new life in relationship with you. I would like that. Jesus, you took my place on the cross and died for me so that I could live. Please come into my heart now. I love you. Amen. If you prayed that prayer, just know you've just been adopted into a great big family and you are not alone. We may be scattered abroad, but pick up a phone, send me an email, do something, share the good news. God bless.